All right, this is your five minute hack on bilateral stimulation as a tool for stress relief, especially when we're in survival mode. So bilateral stimulation, if you haven't heard about it, I'm not an expert in this, but it's something I've learned a bit about and something I've used myself and that I really like. Um, and the idea is pretty simple. It's some kind of stimulus that moves from back and forth from the right and left sides of our bodies. Um, and there's different ideas about how it works. The ones I've seen um, written about a lot are that it helps to integrate the two hemispheres of our brains and help integrate information. And also that it creates this external stimulus that's really hard for our nervous systems to ignore. So the result is that we're better able to process information, but we're also not able to put our full attention on the worried thought, on the anxiety, on the fear. So it's used a lot in the treatment of PTSD, for example because it helps to break the thought loop that can happen a lot around trauma, the thought loop, the fear loop. But it's also good for everyone um, because when we're able to better process and integrate information, it's a little bit like having a really good night's sleep <laughs> where the worry and the anxiety feels a little less close. We're able to think more clearly um, and that anxiety doesn't feel quite as present. So. I think that's everything I want to say about this, a little bit of rambling. Um, so we're going to do five minutes here of bilateral stimulation type exercises. It's going to be a 50-10. Um, don't need equipment. That's the other amazing thing about bilateral stimulation. You really don't need anything to do it. Okay, besides your body. So it's a 50-10. We're going to do, whoops, here we go. 10 seconds in. We're going to start with just a march or a jog. You can turn this into high knees. I personally like to do things a little more slowly with bilateral stimulation. So you can be doing a gentle jog like this for keeping frontals back. You can also bring it up to a march. And like I said, you can make this high knees. I really just like to notice that contact with the floor back and forth, fully planting your foot. If you're noticing that your hip flexors, if you're marching or doing high knees and your hip flexors are really getting activated here, turn it into a little jog, take down the intensity. We don't wanna be getting the front line of our body super activated here. We're really just trying to feel that back and forth, planting the feet. I sometimes do a full like full body shake here too, which can feel amazing. Okay, so now we're going into shoulder taps. And I'm gonna do these in a plank. If you are not feeling the plankies today, it's all good. You can still do bilateral stimulation very easily on all fours, but we're gonna do shoulder taps. So I'm gonna go into a plank here, brace, plank, rocket, uh, left hand to right shoulder, and I'm gonna do two taps on my right shoulder. Now normally, we'll do shoulder taps as a leg, Tap as fast as you can <laughs> to deal with the plank. But this time, the tap is really about the tap. So putting a little more attention on that, that cross body feeling. Brace, blink, rocket if you're planking. The breath here is also helpful. Okay, um, so now we're gonna go into alternating skaters and we're gonna do these a little more slowly. If you're a person that likes them to, likes to do them really peppy, we're gonna do skaters and instead of touching, unless you can fully touch the floor, we wanna make contact. So I'm gonna touch my knee and I wanna, want you to really plant that hand. If that's not feeling good, it doesn't have to be so hard, but really make sure you're feeling that hand on your knee. You can pick up the pace if that's comfortable. A little bit of exertion is of course also amazing <laughs> for stress relief. So the combination of these things is wonderful. Frontals back, long spine here. Okay, so now we're gonna go into leaning tower. So posture in place, frontals back, ribs are tucked, 
Chin is tucked. Collarbones out to the sides, extend arms up. We're going to shift back and forth. Feel that foot planted. Lift up out of your pelvis. Inhale, exhale. Now you don't need to be super focused on the brace here. It can be a gentle bracing up. We want to certainly keep our bodies safe. But we're also really trying to focus on this back and forth. Okay, last thing. This is not a mom strong move. This is called a butterfly hug. Now this is a bilateral stimulation thing we can do even when we're not on the mat. You're gonna cross your thumbs, bring it to your chest, and then you're just gonna go back and forth. Gentle taps. I like to keep my fingertips a little bit below my collarbones. Now if this is not comfortable for you, you can do this. If this is not comfortable for you, you can do it on your thighs. Some kind of tapping, I find this one to be really comforting. Doing this with my hands, the feeling of giving myself a hug. Also this little hip shift, I realized this is the thing that I loved the most about the, uh, the baby stage <laughs> of my baby was wearing him and doing that hip shift back and forth. And I'm convinced it was related to bilateral stimulation. So that's it. I love the butterfly hug. Um, I love you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully you're feeling a little more integrated, a little more calm, a little less close to the worry thoughts. Okay, bye everybody.